Book 16 of the bucket list is done. Let me tell you all about Clouds by Aristophanes. Aristophanes was born about 450 BC and was one of ancient Greeks' comedic playwrights. And he is the only one whose work has survived to this day. His career began about 427 with the play Dede Laius, and he may have written as many as 40 plays. However, most of the work is fragmented. None of Aristophanes' plays are cohesive stories, but relatively small, loosely connected scenes with a chorus occasionally breaking in. It reminds me a bit of sketch comedy series you would find on Saturday Night Live or Monty Python, and I wonder if this playwright is the progenitor of that type of comedy. Notorious Surviving Play The play begins when Stepsiitis, a distraught father who is completely bankrupt due to his son's gambling problems, enrolls in the philosophy school next door to learn how to stop his son from ruining the family. It recounts the ridiculousness and faulty logic that Stepsiitis and his son Phidippias learns from the school and the primary philosopher so- Socrates. Throughout the play, a chorus regularly breaks in and tells the audience how great the play is. The chorus also warns of a comeuppance. After Stepsiitis and Phidippias receive their education, Q. Pink Floyd's The Wall, Stepsiitis uses his new logic to deny his debt and then flogs one of his creditors. The tables are turned on Stepsiitis after he and Phidippias argue about poetry and Phidippias beats his father. He was quite spoiled, if you ask me, and has twice victimized his father. The play ends with a very upset Stepsiitis burning down the school and throwing rocks at all of the students. The play was written as a satirical attack on the sophist school of thought and was interpreted as a personal attack on Socrates. However, Socrates was not a sophist and also argued against the nonsense being taught at the various philosophical schools that popped up all over Greece, like branches of the University of Phoenix. It may have been a joke with Aristophanes using the well-known philosopher's name only as a comedic character and believing everyone would see the humor. No one thought it was a joke though, and clouds would sway public opinion on philosophical schools such as these, and it was believed to contribute to the downfall and execution of Socrates. The play wasn't my brand of humor. It is of the body bathroom type variety, and if you are a fan of Larry the Cable Guy, you will probably like this play. Next up is Mino by Plato and the start of some fundamental hardcore philosophy. I'll let you know what I think.